So I've got a watch here, and um, I'm just going to put it on. And it's connected to the display here through this little cable. All right. So let's start by looking at um, three examples of new features in watchOS 2, and then I'll show you three apps. Let's start with uh, making a photo face. So I'll just press my digital crown here, go to the home screen, and there's my photos. And you can see I've got a bunch of photos on here. I can zoom in with the crown and pan around, and I can pick a photo that might make a nice watch face like that one. But I want to zoom in and crop it a little more, so I'm going to zoom in a little bit more and move it over like that to get it just right. I think that's going to make a great watch face. So I just force touch, choose create watch face, and there you go, a beautiful new watch face. Let's look at time travel. I'll go over to my modular face. I've got some more information here. So I've got flight times here on United. You can see the temperature, my VW car's charge level, and time in London. So I just rotate the crown here, and I can go forward in time. You can see time's updating. Now my flight's leaving, you can see at 145, and I wonder if my charge level will be enough to get to the airport. So if I just keep going forward in time here, we'll get to 145, and you can see my charge level is just gonna be great to get to the airport. And in fact, you can keep going and look at boarding time and arrival time for your flight. So you can get a great preview of your day just by rotating the crown right on the watch face. It's a lot of fun. Just press the crown and go back to home. Now, if you get an email, you can reply to email now in watchOS 2. So here's, a, here's an email that's just come in from Mark. Now I can reply to this by pressing the button right below the message. Or you can use Siri to reply to a message right from a notification. So if I just use Siri here, I can reply like this. Reply, I would love to. So Siri's uh, making the message there. It's created a response. I just press send, and it now goes off to Mark. So just by pressing the crown, you can use Siri to send a message right from your wrist. Now let's look at a few third-party apps. So let's look at the VW app you saw in slides a second ago. And I'll show you how that works. Here it is. Now I can lock my car just by pressing this, this control right here. Responds right away. You can see the app also open very quickly. And I can control the temperature here that we were looking at before. If I just rotate the crown, you can see how responsive it is as I go up and down through temperatures here. Really, really cool. I'll get it nice and warm for me, so when I go down there, it'll be nice and toasty. OK, turn it on. All right, I've got confirmation that it actually enabled that on my car now. Now access to the mic is going to be really helpful in apps. And some of the apps that will really benefit are communication apps, like WeChat. A lot of messages sent uh, via WeChat are actually audio messages. So let's see how that'll work now with watchOS 2. See, I've got some messages here. There's one from Becky. And I can reply here just by pressing the reply button. And you can see I've got a microphone now, so I can do an audio response. Let's do that. That sounds great. So you can see as I was recording it, it got the audio levels of my voice. And now it sent that to Becky. I can also reply with stickers here. There's different categories of them. And with the digital crown now, being able to connect to your UI, I can just flip through recent uh, stickers and pick one quickly that I like, and then just send that one as well. So very fast to interact now uh, with all these new controls you have available in watchOS 2. Now let's look at the Vine glance. Uh, Vine is a great example of playing back video on the watch. And uh, its format is really perfect for the watch face. So here's a recent one on Vine. So that's video playing back right on the watch face. So those are just some examples of what you could do now with watchOS 2. And I'm super excited to see what all of you guys do with all this stuff.